workout whoa okay um no that's not working so today's video is all about this beautiful gold glitter cut crease smoky eye i have going on and i just used the makeup for melanin girls glitter palettes to achieve this eye look i feel like that is what just tied the whole look together <laughs> Welcome back to my channel. My name is Chichi and thank you so much for tuning in today So like I already said in the intro today's video is just all about this gorgeous eye look I did not do my face makeup on camera because I feel like I've done it so many times But if you want me to do like an updated foundation routine or an updated Highlight or whatever routine whatever you want just comment it down below and if I can do it Then I will definitely do it for you. So yeah, if you're interested in seeing how I achieve this gorgeous gorgeous look like look at her I, I would name her like my go-to Instagram body look, you know Like all these Instagram girls that you see with glitter and then just like this smoky eye with the wing I mean my wing is too timid to be an Instagram wing <laughs> But still the whole look together is just is a look so if you would like to see how I achieve this look then please keep on watching. I'm just going to go ahead and prime my lid and I'll be using the Ellie Girl Pro Conceal in Fun as usual and I'll just be blending that out with my brush that I used to do my brows as well. It's just like a flat brush pretty much. I'm kind of going for like an Instagram body kind of look, you know, that kind of smoky eye and then you just like top it up with glitter and then put a wing liner it always looks so good on them like when you see them you're like oh my god and then when you not end up trying it it just looks like a hot mess but yeah i'm just going to give it a try there's no harm blend everything out and i'm trying my best to make sure that it's not patchy now i'm going to go into my special locations palette by beige cosmetics and take this brown as my transition shade this one right here so i'm just going to place this color like right above my crease area this is just my transition shade so i'm just packing this color on basically nothing new you know just in windshield motions back and forth and as I'm going, I'm going to be blending out the edges as well. So I'm just going to go into this darker brown in this palette with a precise brush. And I'm going to use this to carve out my crease. Since I have hooded eyes, my method for carving would definitely be different from yours. So just when you're carving, just follow, like look straight into your mirror and form an arc, basically. So yeah, it will definitely take time for this color to show up, but just keep building it. But as you're building, don't forget to blend from time to time so it doesn't get too much. I don't even think the color is dark enough, okay. So I'm just going to use my fluffy brush and blend out whatever I already have. So I'm going to go in with a darker brown once I'm done with this unnecessary step. Okay, so I'm going to take Kenya and hopefully it's a darker brown, so I'll just use it to outline my crease again basically uh-huh that is much better yo this camera is not picking anything I'm just here saying uh-huh that's much better and you guys are looking at me like girl there's no difference on your eyeballs so yeah I'm just going to blend it out honestly with this pencil brush I don't have a specific technique my own is pretty much just as I'm looking at the mirror it should look presentable so I'm just going to do probably windshield strokes but I'm not pressing it on my skin if that makes sense so I'm just using the tip to like lightly blend Honestly, you just have to keep blending like as you see my eyes right now. I only have two colors on It's just the building and the blending that makes it look like oh my goodness I'm doing something very hard, but in reality it's not that hard to be honest You just need to give yourself that time to blend out 
Okay, so now I'm going back into my BH Cosmetics palette and I'm going to take black and I'm just going to take literally a little bit. Goal is to basically just blend out this color. That is pretty much it. Just blend out the black. And I added that black because I needed a darker brown, like a slightly darker brown, but I couldn't find anything. So the black is just to darken whatever was already there. So next I'm going to go ahead and carve out my crease and to carve my crease I'm going to be using my LA Girl Pro Conceal in Fawn and then I'll be using my um, brush I used to put on concealer on my lid. So now I'm just going to go in with some more concealer and really cut my crease. Like right now the crease is cut, you know, it's not like cut, but I really want it to be cut, like cut properly. So take some more concealer on the brush and just go slow. And then I'm going to be putting this color all over my lid. I just want to set the concealer before I put the glitter. I'm going to struggle with my wings and I'll be right back. I know I said we're using glitter, but don't go anywhere because we are still going to use the glitter in the next scene. All right? So you guys, I was really about to start activating my Instagram body status after I did this liner. I'm like, yes, bitch. Like, yes, you look good. Like, your liner is popping. Everything is good. Tell me why I did this eye and this one is just like you're not going to prosper. So for glitter today, I'll be using this color over here. It's not a gold, but it's a gold. So I'm just going to use my finger to apply the Makeup for Melanin Girls glitter all over my lid. My finger is a little too large though, so I don't know how this is going to work out. Whoa, okay. Um, no, that's not working. Can you see the one that I spread earlier on? I'm just spreading it out and out and out. Like it's very easy for this glitter to move around on your lid. That's why I really like it. So when you put it somewhere, it's not just stiff on that place. You can move it around without having any fallouts, which is very amazing. <laughs> very amazing love. You basically just move this glitter to where you want it to be. And when you're done moving around the clumps, then you can go in and grab some more glitter. But if you have clumps, then chances are that you can spread that glitter over an area and it would actually cover the area. You have to make sure that you spread it out well because I feel like it's when you actually spread it out that you get the beauty of the glitter coming through. Comment down below which one you would rock. Would you prefer to rock this look with glitter or would you prefer to rock it without glitter? Comment down below and let me know. I like this method because I can correct my liner problem as well. Um, the liner on this eye was a little bit too thick for my liking, so I can just put some glitter over the part I don't want and it's good. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and do my lower lash line and I'm going to be taking Jezebel from the Nubian 2 palette. It's just this dark purple over here. And then I'm going to go ahead and blend that out with Kenya, which is the brown I used earlier on. For lashes today, I'm going to be using my Honey from C Lashes. I already put glue on it, but this is pretty much what the packaging looks like. She's... Next, for my lips, I'm going to be using my eyebrow pencil as a lip liner because I do not have a brown lip liner. So I'll be using my eyebrow pencil and then I'll be putting my gloss from Forever 20. Sorry, from Victoria's Secret, just over it. This is our final look. I'm honestly so happy with the way it turned out. Like, I really, really love the eyes. And that glitter palette is honestly like a life saver because I did not have any glitter mess. I still don't have any glitter mess. It was so easy to apply. I just love it so much. So yeah, please give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And also don't forget to hit that subscribe button on this side of your screen. If you have not subscribed,